In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite little defensive schemes here. This is a great defense for basically guaranteeing your pressure against really any formation. It's going to guarantee it against pretty much anything, and I'll show that in just a second. I want to show it first and foremost against the bunch because the bunch is obviously the best offense in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And in this video, I've got another video out of the 335 odd. I absolutely love this defense. This defense, I think, is one of the most fun defenses to run. Um, and really, I'm having, honestly, a lot of fun running this. I'm also running some 245 odd as well. I've got ebooks on both of those defenses. If you want to get my full 335 odd defensive guide, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Features probably the best blitzes in the entire game, as well as we use uh, kind of the big nickel. We have a little big nickel bonus video where we show you how to stop the run from big nickel in the red zone and really have some really good red zone defense. So anyways, all that to say, if you want to get that defensive ebook, there's a link in the description. All you got to do is click that link and it'll take you right over to the website and you can get the defensive guide for just uh, 15 bucks. So that being said, I wanted to dive into this video and I want to specifically talk about um, really just a play that I keep coming back to and that is the LB Cross 3 Show 2. Now, the reason I keep coming back to this for several different ones, um, one of them is the pressure that you can create. Another one is the run defense um, that you have in this formation. I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, but this is just one of my favorite plays in the game for a lot of different reasons. And I'm just going to show you how to set up the blitz, and then we're going to go over some run defense as well that you could do out of this. So uh, what we're going to do from a pressure perspective is we're just simply going to spread our defensive line. We're going to spread our linebackers, and then we're going to show blitz um, what you'll see is when we show blitz it's going to bring this guy kind of in a little bit of an off coverage style of blitzing um, which is what we want we don't want him to be too close but we don't want him to be too far away um, the next thing that we're going to do from this is we're going to crash our defensive line down so you see here it's going to blitz that guy off of the left edge now when i place when i play gun bunch i absolutely love to basically play a cover two shell on that left side and essentially play hard flats. I love playing hard flats against Bunch, to be honest, because I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> I'm not, I'm just kidding. I have several defenses for Bunch, but um, I really like this one, especially when I blitz, uh, because you've got this middle third here that can do a lot of damage. Another thing that I like to do, I mean, another thing you could easily do is you could create, you know, a cover two out of this. There's a lot of things you could do. But anyways, all that to say, we're gonna use her this guy and we're going to put him like on a purple zone and then we're going to put him like right here okay it's really important that he's basically it's important if you look at the center if you look at his feet real quick you'll see a little shadow it's just really important that this guy is triggering the center so if i move him over here you see that it's now the tackle on the guard that he's triggering we want him to trigger right here okay so that's the concept let me show you the pressure and what you're going to get you're going to get insane heat out of this you're going to get edge heat really consistently and occasionally you'll get some a gap pressure as well uh, from this so let me show you that blitz one more time again just spread your line show blitz and then let me just show you this real quick and you'll see here this time we got the looping a gap pressure as well now another thing that you can do from this is you can actually go ahead and qb contain uh out of this now let me show you that real quick as well so when we when we do this we can contain and the reason why i like to do that there's another setup i'm going to show you in just a second um but you want to mess with these blitz angles because the more you mess with these blitz angles the more you're going to find that it's going to you're going to find something that is going to really trigger um you know that a gap pressure to come in now the edge pressure is super consistent it's really the reason why i like this play so much because that loop really guarantees my edge pressure is going to be very very consistent um if i you know as long as i do that and they don't block a running back now let me show you this real quick so this is a uh, crashing of the line to the right and you'll see that that defensive end on the right is now going to basically uh kind of run out and and fill that that blitzing lane so now what you'll see is again this time the a gap pretty well comes completely it, it, it almost came in it's and and i will tell you that that a gap is better on the other side of the field um but the looper will will basically he'll come in from time to time as well so you know that's a concept that you can run i think relatively effectively again the more we can the more we can kind of tinker with that the more you're going to have success with that but again it's all about this little right here that mechanic and that time we didn't get any heat 
but let me show you now um, let me show you now what this does against a blocked running back now most of the time I find a lot of success um, if they block a running back uh, I definitely am gonna have success if they block a tight end and I'll show that in a second but let me just show you the blocked running back here so blocked running back what you'll see is oftentimes we didn't get anything here oftentimes what's gonna happen is if they block a running back um, you are going to get that edge pressure and the running back will actually shift and try to go guard the looper now and I'll show you that real quick so again just blocked running back and that time he actually came over to the looper but as you see it's too late and that guy can that guy can easily get in and at least push the pocket and make the quarterback feel uh, feel some pressure there so you know that being said uh, let me show you this now. So again, we're just going to get these guys out, block the running back, and that's what I was looking at right there. So this is kind of what normally happens. Let me show you this in the instant replay. And this blitz, I think, is a I find this blitz to be a lot better on the other side, and I'll show it in a second. But what you'll see here is you see how this looper is going to basically uh, because of the 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 blitz fits is what I'm going to start calling these. Um, because of that, you see here you get this angle coming, and that allows this guy to come completely clean at the quarterback. Now, there's other things that we can do, of course, but this is one of my favorites because it does a really good job against uh, it does a really good job against the run. So, uh, anyways, let me show you the next uh, let me show you the next thing, and that's if they block a tight end. So, if they block a tight end, you should get consistent edge pressure, as you see right there, easy edge pressure against a blocked uh, against a blocked tight end now the one thing that I will tell you is that if they um, if they max protect I normally don't get pressure out of this if they max protect one thing you can and I'll show you there are some ways we can get pressure and I'll show those in a second but what you'll see here um, is if they max protect I'm just gonna hold left trigger right here and what you'll see is it sucks see it see how it almost comes in it oftentimes will suck that running back like to the middle um, so if you just hold left trigger with your user, oftentimes you'll find that you will create some really interesting, um, just really interesting reactions from the running back. So again, if I'm just sitting here and I'm just going to hold left trigger and they max protect, I'm just going to sit here, kind of come down just a little bit. And oftentimes that time he picked me up clean, but oftentimes, um, if I sit there and just kind of maybe move a little bit to the inside, you'll see that the running back will at least, he'll at least acknowledge that I'm there. Um, he'll at least acknowledge that I'm there. So anyways, let me show you, um, show blitz here. So again, I'm right here with my user and I'm just going to hold left trigger, uh, at the snap of the ball and then basically go down into the right. So left trigger, come down and right there, it would have come in, but my, my blitz angle on the left got a little wonky. But anyways, guys, like I said, this is just a, it's a real easy, it's really easy setup too. I mean, literally just spread your line, crash your line down. And then I like to show blitz. You don't have to show blitz uh, to make this work. You really don't. Um, you, you you don't have to show blitz. It doesn't, but the reason I like to show blitz is for the alignment that I get on the outside. I get these really nice, um, I just feel like I get a better alignment on the, on that side. So anyways, let me show you this max protect one more time and then we'll show it to the other side. So again, I'm just going to see in here, come down to the right. And we didn't get it in, but you see the concept. See how that running back kind of suctions. If you hold left trigger, oftentimes I find that the running back will suction to you. So now let me just flip this real quick and just wanted to go over this. Um, I just wanted to go over this one more or on the other side because uh, I think the looping pressure is better on the other side. I think the edge pressure is better on that side. But what I like about this is it's a very simple blitz that is going to basically tell you that, okay, you're going to get five man pressure and you're pretty much going to get it like period. You know what I mean? Like there's not like if I run this blitz, I'm, I'm they're going to have to at least block somebody. So let me just show you it without a running back blocking. And what you'll see here is we get clean pressure off the edge, just like that. Super clean pressure off the edge. Okay. So perfect. Exactly what we're looking for. Again, I like to create a cover two out of this. Um, if I'm going to run this, I like to do this right here. This is like my favorite way to run this coverage. Um, another way that you could run it is to play, you know, if you could baseline it and then put this guy, put the slot into a middle third. I really like this adjustment as well because I love, I love, I love cover two this year. I really do. Uh, I think cover two is actually really good, especially if you use these thirds. But anyways, that's coverage. I just want to show the pressure. So again, here, uh, we're going to show it one more time and then we'll show it to you uh, again. So all you could do is just kind of sit here, let them kind of attract to you. And as you see, I mean, you're just, you'll scream off that other side of the field. 
okay? So that's that's kind of that pressure. So uh, last thing I want to show is I want to show what happens uh, with a running back blocking. Now, a running back blocking on this side will definitely probably pick up the edge pressure. But what I've found is that oftentimes you will get this looping pressure. Um, all you got to do is run down here at the center and then just kind of make them attract you. There we weren't able to get it. And uh, But I will say, I mean, the sheds are really good. And again, this is a super simple setup too. I mean, literally just spread line. That's it. I mean, and then you can just set, go about setting up your coverages. You don't have to put this guy in a zone if you don't want to. I just like to. Um, but I'll show you here real quick. So you see here, we're just trying to get in, we're just trying to get an engagement, uh, like an, a, an engage from that player on that left side. So uh, again, let me show you one more time because I just I really want to show you this looping pressure. And we're just not getting a great animation. It might be because of our hash mark uh, deal. But all we're trying to do is we can get the center to engage with us. We're just not getting it. But anyways, um, anyways, you're still getting your edge heat. But typically, like I said, let me move the ball um, and show you this. Because this does this is very true that like hash marks, they do mess with the blitzes. I will tell you that. That's actually something that's uh, kind of a recent thing that I've figured out. Or I kind of always knew it, but I didn't realize how much until I started running this specific blitz. So anyway, let me just show this again. And that's, that's what we're, see there right there? That's what I'm saying. So literally first time we run it on this side, we get the looping pressure completely free. So this is where, again, I really like this because um, you're going to see that if they, if they block the running back, most of the time your looper or your edge rusher is going to come in. It could be somebody different each time, but most of the time that's the animation we're looking for. And let me show you that in instant replay. This is exactly what we're looking for. So sorry we took so long to get to this, but this is exactly why I like this split so much. So what you'll see is as long as the center engages with your user, that's all we're going for. So you see here, center goes with your user. Once we get that, we can bail. We don't have to do anything. Um, we just have to get that for just a split second. And then what you see is this running back oftentimes is going right there at that looping pressure. And then as you can see, your edge pressure is coming completely clean at the quarterback. So that's a that that's really the the core uh, as to why I really like this blitz, um, especially for this side of the field, um, because I find a lot of times we're going to get really really consistent heat off that edge, as you see right there. I mean, it's very consistent heat. So you know that's why I like LB cross three. Now, if they max protect again, like I showed you on the other side of the field. I don't think this will come in. Uh, occasionally it will, but most of the time it's not going to. So, again, we're just going right in here. Um, max protect. I can kind of do that. And as you see, I mean, we get close, but no cigar. But, you know, I mean, you've got a five-man against a blocked running back. To me, that's pretty solid this year. Um, you know, and again, I really like the fact that that looper will occasionally just come right through the A-gap, and it really messes with people. Um, it really does it from what I've seen. And so... Anyways, that's the blitz. That's what I wanted to break down. LB Cross 3 Show 2. Um, last thing I want to show real quick before we take off is how good this is against an inside zone. Because I personally, for whatever reason, people seem to want to run inside zone now a lot. So anyway, here's how this this will this will bag inside zone. You see that right there? Looper just loops right in and bags inside zone for you. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get the full defensive ebook, we break this play down in a little bit more detail and show how to get it with less players blitzing. We also have some of the best two and three man nano blitzes in the entire game out of this formation. So you can get my nickel three three five odd defensive guide in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. We literally go over in the guide a step by step system for how you can stop bunch, how you can stop bunch tight end and some of the more popular offenses like trips tight end or, or any of those. So we go formation by formation, you trips defense as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to get the defensive ebook, there's a link in the description. Just click that link and you can get the entire defense for just 15 bucks.